Are you a cat guy or a dog guy? Uh, I don't like cats. Like, what do you mean by that? Did you hear the new Beyonce song? No. No. I don't listen to Beyonce. I don't listen to her either, but she has a new country song, and I just don't know why I thought about it. Well, maybe because you're... You've never heard of it? No. Uh, okay. My mom listens to Beyonce. <laughs> I'm a man. Hi, I'm Nina, and I'm here with... Kevin Trailblazer Holland. Kevin, how does it feel to be the only fighter to interview your opponents while in the cage? It was good. It was good. Natural. You're one of one. Thank you. You're Appreciate the only it. one to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> if you weren't fighting, what would you be doing? Uh, probably something too illegal to say on here, so uh, driving trucks or something like that. Yeah, definitely driving trucks. Yeah, I like to drive. What do you listen to when you drive? Uh, lately, I'm listening to a lot of Mexican OT. What is it? Mexican OT. Mexican OT. Yeah, Mexican out of Texas. Yeah, he's blowing up right now. Oh, yeah, cool. Really good. Big X is pretty nice, too. A lot of the Texas artists. Um, do you listen to any podcasts? No, I don't listen to podcasts. Just vibes? Yeah, just music. Got it. Or nothing at all. Dude, I don't really listen to anything. Yeah, it works good that way. I think so. You kind of hone in on time. Yeah. How maybe it doesn't exist. No, you know? it definitely exists. Yeah, sometimes it just don't exist, you know? Yeah. Yeah. When you talk to your opponents in the cage, do they ever get, like, frustrated? Or have you ever made them laugh? Yeah, all of the above. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> has it ever worked? Has it ever worked to your advantage, or like you threw them off? I mean, it probably always works to my advantage. If they're throwing off, it's their fault. It's not mine. Casual conversation rules the nation. No, I just like talking. Yeah, because it's like, well, you can't. Like, distraction is also a tool in your box. Yeah. Yeah. It works. I love it. What movie would best describe your life? It's a novel written by my mama. Is it a movie or a novel written by your mom? I don't know. However you want to put it, it's me. I'm the movie. <laughs> I describe my life pretty well. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect answer. Okay, do you watch fighting outside of MMA? Like outside of your fights, do you watch fights? I don't even watch my fights. You don't even watch your fights? No, I hardly watch fighting. I mean, if there's a big fight on, and you know, I'm a fan of the guy or something like that. You, you know, watch it? Yeah. I find that so interesting. Why, like, why is that? Uh, people start grappling. Yeah. And I fall asleep. You don't. Yeah, you don't like to grapple. Mm, I like grappling. I just don't like watching it. You don't like watching other people grapple? No, it's weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like male porn. With clothes on. Well, I yeah, guess they're porn. close to naked. Yeah. I guess I never thought about it like that. Yeah, the only thing stopping them is the cup. That's true, because yeah. you can be turned on with a cup, no one would know. I would hope not. Yeah. Now I can't watch grappling the same. Yeah, uh, that's why I like striking. You know. Well, you're really good at it. Sometimes. Um, if you would, could rob a bank and never get caught, would you do it? No. But if I can kill the guy robbing the bank, I would. Well, you almost killed that guy at the sushi restaurant. No, no, no. I didn't hit him that one time. No, you just choked him. Yeah. But it was pretty f***ing cool. It was pretty gay. <laughs> well, it was kind of grapply. If I had my gun, it would be a better <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of grappled him a little bit. Yeah. It's good for public. Yeah, super good. Yeah. But you could have, t I guess, well, you don't want to touch his gun. I did. Oh. Yeah. It was chrome, shiny, big. It was a big gun? It was a big gun. Did you throw it to the side? Yeah, I slid it over. And then uh, did they give you like a lifetime supply of sushi? They tried, I didn't want it. Oh, why not? Uh, why would I want to go to that sushi spot? People were walking there with guns. <laughs> well, cut. oh, I guess you're right. Yeah. You didn't feel safe there anymore? No, I don't eat sushi out there anymore. <laughs> Only at home. You'll eat sushi at home? Mm hmm Like in my city, Fort Worth. That makes sense. Yeah, it's good too. So when you sit in restaurants, do you think that, do you have like a little PTSD about it? Oh yeah, for sure. Try and find a good corner, it's always safest. Facing the door? Uh, yeah, so you can see who comes in and comes out. Yeah. Yeah, kind of always been like that though. It's good, good for you. Yeah, I've been like that too. It was my dad. Yeah. My dad. See, he's OG. that. Yeah. yeah, my dad's an OG for sure. I like that guy. Oh, is there a kid that you grew up with that you would beat the shit out of now? Every single one. The kids are mean. No, just I don't think any of them can fight better than me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't make an answer in it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I don't know. 
There's a couple kids I grew up with that I would, I would, well, I guess I don't know if I would f up now. I would try. Yeah. But like as a fighter, is there anyone that like, well, I mean, how did you start fighting? I accidentally hit the security guard. I got kicked out of school. Next oh. school I went to, the, the guy there was a martial arts instructor. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, I'm in the UFC. Dude, just like that. Yeah, it was smooth. Pretty smooth. Yeah. Prison for a month or house arrest for 12? Uh, I did house arrest when I was a juvenile. It sucked, but uh, I still found a way to get out a little bit. So um, I was still able to smoke, so house arrest probably. But no, you said a whole year? Whole year house arrest. Nah, I just do a month in jail. Spreads every week. Celebrate. Make tacos on Tuesday. Be okay. Beef jerky unlimited. Slim Jims. Chop them up. Hot water. Turn that into a little bit of, you know, the cake. Okay. Make a spread every night. When Be you, good to go. like the toilet, like, okay, but did you have to use your toilet for everything? What do you mean? I don't know. Nah. You ever been to jail? Not yet. Nah, I've been. It's not that bad. I mean, I'm not telling you to go there, but, you know. No, I mean, I feel like, I feel like for girls, experience it's amazing. It. It's just like a all-woman's retreat. Well, now. Well, <laughs> not always. I mean, you can get freaky in that thing. <laughs> yeah, but there's, they let, you can say anything and they'll let you in, you know what I mean? <laughs> as long as they let me in, I might get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always wonder, like, would you lead a gang or would you be a part of one? Uh, I don't do gangs. It's bad for the community. Or is it? It's horrible. But what if you need more structure because the authorities aren't doing it right? Fire the authorities, <laughs> hire new ones. <laughs> you know, you can always hire me. I'll be good to go. <laughs> okay, when you were sick as a child, is there something that a parent would give you or a guardian would give you to make you feel better that's unconventional? Whiskey. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Oh. Because... <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, good, I had good family growing up. I got sick, I got medicine, or went to medicine. the doctors. Or I just stayed home from school for a day, and usually I felt better the next day. I had good family. Yeah. Real good family. Got it. I'm no strickling. <laughs> do you believe in dragons? Yeah, of course. I do too. Yeah, I just don't think they're alive anymore, but yeah. Evolution. Evolution's a I think dragons, I mean, look at pterodactyls. Those are like dragons. What's a pterodactyl? It's a dinosaur that used to fly. Yeah, for sure. Like a Komodo dragons. Those are dragons too. Yeah, little baby dragons. Little baby dragons. Yeah, they don't breathe fire or anything, but they're pretty cool. Do you think if you okay, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Uh probably a monkey. Monkey. Yeah. What kind what? of look alike too? What kind of monkey? There's so many different uh, variations. Sweetheart, I ain't that smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you be a gorilla? Or would you be a chimpanzee? Or would you be like one of those monkeys in Bali that steal from the tourists? Uh, probably the one off the movie, Planet of the Apes. Probably one of those. Like a lead monkey? Like the uh, main monkey that spoke English? No, like the monkey off to the side, like scratching his balls, beating his chest. <laughs> <laughs> the you know, right hand man monkey. Yeah, picking that thing off your, eating it. That Just type of chilling, monkey. man. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Are you a cat guy or a dog guy? Uh, I don't like cats. I like pussy. What do you mean by that? I don't like cats. I like that makes dogs. sense. Yeah. I got what? a big dog now. What kind of dog? It's Trey the Truth Brothers dog. It's a boar bull. It's a pretty big South African bulldog. A South African bulldog? I almost named it Duplessis. Oh. What happened? I just figured Blazer sounded better. Yeah, Blazer's cool. Yeah, he was a little darker too. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, if you're stuck on an island, would you pick veganism or cannibalism? Oh, yeah, I like meat. So, people? Yeah, Is for sure. People guy? I mean, yeah, I like meat. <laughs> <laughs> they say, you know what they say? They say that people taste most like pig. And that's why in some cultures, eating pig is a sin. I like pig, so. Yeah. I can imagine. And you need a little more meat on your bones, but. I'm tr I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, you just wouldn't, you stay like that, you wouldn't taste good, so. So maybe I should just stay like this. I'll plump you up. <laughs> Eat you real good. What do you mean by that? Okay, do you, what? What type what, of seasoning would you want me to put on you? I mean, I, I, maybe we can just band together and like I could help you. So who would you want to eat? I could help you. I'd probably stick to like the vegan part, but I don't mind the killing. Like I'll kill, I'll kill the people. I like the kill. You can just skin it. 
I'll skin it for you. Well, I'll do whatever to just have you not eat me. As long as you skin it, we're good to go. I'll skin it, I'll shave it, I'll, whatever you need me I'm to cool do, I'll do that. I'll skin it, we're good. <laughs> I'll do that. A little bone snap when you break the leg backwards. And I'll grill it, I'll fry it, whatever. Yeah. I'll put it on a roaster. Yeah. I'll be spinning it all day on an island, just like this, over I'd a fire. Love, I'd love to see you gut, gut an animal. You would love to see me gut an animal? Yeah, would oh. you? Would I? Yeah, I would. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna show me a video of gutting Yeah, let me see how your stomach handles it. Uh, here we go. Are you gutting Look an animal? Look at Bugs Bunny. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, Bugs Bunny did good though. Let me see, we went not too long ago. It was a good gut about. I guess sushi's kind of like a less graphic gutting. Sushi? Yeah, I guess everything can be sushi, you know? Less graphic gutting? Yeah. Oh, it was right here. Okay. This is not that bad, though. Was that a deer? Is that a butter knife? Yeah, you can cut it with a butter knife. Why doesn't he have a bigger knife? It's, it's a decent sized knife. I mean, it looks like a butter knife, Kevin. It's cut and beautiful, though. Look at that. Well, because it, you, it's a freshly killed animal. It's that back strap right there. Do you eat that back fat? It's back strap. What's a back strap? It's good meat. Like a fanny pack? Mm -mm. You like it. Did you slit its throat or shoot it in the head? I usually do headshots. So you shot, what kind of, did you use a rifle? Sorry. Too much information. <laughs> You'd eat that? Uh, yeah, if we were stuck on an island. Would you skin it? Yeah, if we're stuck on an island, yeah. What if we're just going to my backyard? Well, I'm vegan. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so. I'm not, listen, listen, I'm saying when push comes to shove. You eat a plant. I would probably do the berry thing. But I'm not going to judge you for living your life the way you want to live it. Yeah, I mean, But I'm going to make myself as useful as possible. <laughs> I love a girl that can eat good meat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you know, got to cook it, eat it. Because you, you don't know if you cooked it right unless you take a little slither. Yeah, that's true. Or you put it on the foreman. You just let it tell you when. I've never. What is the greatest life lesson you learned during your MMA career? Right now, never talk to a girl that puts it on the foreman. (laughs) 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 You know, but what if you're weight cutting? (laughs) Definitely don't talk to a girl that puts it on the foreman. Charles will throw a fit. Okay. What does it feel like being the real Miles Morales? It's a fan question. He's Black Spider-Man because you you save those people at the sushi restaurant. Oh no, I'm Black Man. Black. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll tell him. I thought Miles was that welterweight or that middleweight. That <laughs> pretty good. Well, I say, what do I had to do to become him? <laughs> a little lighter tone than me. I got better hair too. <laughs> yeah. But call me Black Man He's before I ever ask that question. It's Kevin Black Man. Holland. Black Man. Um, okay, what is the craziest street fight story? Uh, street fight? Yeah. I don't do those things. No, of course not. No. Um. <laughs> no, those are bad. What is the most famous person you have in your contact? I don't know. Let me see if I can call him. <laughs> somebody crazy. Let's see if you know who he is. Let's see if he answers. He's a busy man, so he might not answer. You know what? But there is the million dollar man. Uh, million dollar man? Yeah. Gianni's not answering. Well, Gianni is probably the most popular. And he's probably the only one to use FaceTime. So, Gianni. People don't like... People don't like FaceTime. Oh, Johnny loves FaceTime. I love FaceTime. Yeah. I like. I have to see your face when I talk to you. Yeah, I'm a good-looking guy, so I love FaceTime too. FaceTimes, FaceTimes, because yeah. you have to. Unless see, she's an ugly girl. Then you don't want to. Then. Yeah. Yeah, FaceTime can be rough sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I was trying to salvage it, but I had nothing. Yeah. Okay. Last question. What is your favorite kung fu movie? Ooh. Uh. I don't know. 
Well. It's like yeah. martial arts movie, period. Like Ip Man? Yeah, Ip Man's good. Yeah? Ip Man. That works. Oh, okay. Alien Invasion. There is, we're having one. Uh, I don't really watch alien movies. No, but we're having an alien invasion. What are you going to do? You got to pick three fighters to be on your team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Derek Lewis and Jamal Hill. And I need one more. Yeah. A Terrence McKinney. One of the three people I talk to in plates. Yeah, they would f*** it up. Yeah. I mean, I know a few other fighters, but yeah, that'll work. I think that's a good, that's a good team. Yeah. Be funny as f***. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be a whole movie itself. Yeah, honestly, like, you put us in the sense, we can, like, remake Gotcha Sucker, like, real easy. You guys ever think of, like, like, doing your own side quest and, like, filming something together? Well. Like a show, like a TV or a Big short? Bro, Big Bro Lewis ain't gonna want to do all that. Jamal, Jamal would be down. Jamal would be so, so and Terrence. Terrence be getting on my nerves the whole time, <laughs> so I'd go home halfway through it, so, no, no. bad idea. But you guys would make, like, a, something really funny. It would be great. No, you would. It would be a great trip. It would be great. Oh, weirdest DM you've ever gotten. Weirdest DM I've ever gotten? Yeah. Uh, I think you messaged me one time. Pull it up, dude. No, I'm with you. Oh. Weirdest DM I ever got? Uh, people ask me to pay their bills. Weird. They ask, you don't know them? No, just random people. Can you, can you help me with a bill? Oh my god. Yeah, I got you. That's really nice of you. Dude, you're like low-key, like a man of the people. You're like a Robin Hood. Black Robin, you're like Black Hood. You're like Hood Man. Well, not that kind of hood. There you go. You're like, you're just Black Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you're out there, you're for the people, dude. I do like the people. Yeah, uh, you do sometimes. like the people. The people like you. Sometimes. No, I think they always like you. <laughs> I have my moments. I have Wait, my moments. hold on, was it the guy, was it that guy that grabbed your <laughs> Yeah, he don't like me. But it looked like he liked you. He was trying yeah. to grapple. He said oil check. He's not like he like really like he, oil check. he just was like his hand was on my lower back and he was like oil check and I was like. Dude, uh. <laughs> how did you not lose your mind on him? I just let him do it. <laughs> Probably less backlash. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I I asked you this once before and then you turned it around. <laughs> It's probably gonna happen again. <laughs> I asked you, uh, you know that the I do the on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this fighter? Mm -hmm. And then I ask you about yourself, and you're like, you took my microphone, you said, do you rate yourself? <laughs> do you? No. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this fighter? Uh, good guy. Yeah, he is a good guy. Funny guy. Loves Frozen. Oh, he has a daughter. Yeah, because yeah, she, loves, she yeah. loves Frozen. Makes all the sense On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate yourself as a fighter? I don't rate me. What would you rate yourself? Yeah, I don't rate me either. Yeah. But I would help you skin people on an island so you could eat them. That would be good. And I would not join a gang. Yeah, don't do that. In prison, I would start one. You would start one? Yeah. So if you needed gang friends, I I could probably rally them up for the community. Yeah. No, no, no. Because you just got to choose one side. You never know who's going to make the better spread that day. So, like, stay, in the, I'll, like the stay gang neutral. friends? Yeah, stay yeah. neutral? Stay neutral. You eat with everybody. Makes food's, sense. Food's good. Can't turn down one plate or the other. Love it. It's yeah. Kevin Blackman Holland. That's me. Blackman. The blackest man. Mr. Blackman. Just not Akon or Grilled Cheesy. Just Blackman.